Alabama quarterback Eli Holsting hit the transfer portal yesterday. We covered him last offseason, covering his highlights, his scouting report for the 2023 recruiting class. However, since he's hitting the transfer portal, we're going to brush up on his high school highlights and get a good idea of what he looks like, how he looks on the field, and if he lands with your favorite team, you know what you're going to get. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now. Tap it with the finger on your phone. Click it with the mouse on your computer because we're going hot and heavy on the transfer portal here in 2024. Also, the 2024 recruiting class so you know what your freshmen are going to look like when they get to your team. Click that button. Stop missing out. Let's look at Eli Holstein again because we did cover him over the summer. But we're going to take a look at these highlights, see what he's working with, hitting the transfer portal, and we got an arm on him. We got some arm here. We can sling it deep. That's one thing I can say about Eli Holstein. Steps back, moves up. We got some mobility. Where do you think he's going to go? Let me know in the comments. Because this could be a big get for your team. This could be a guy that you get as a prospect to move up the depth chart. Four-star recruit, ranked 12th in the class, according to 24-7 Sports. Might be different on on three arrivals. Moving around the pocket pretty well. We're moving the ball. Finding our guy downfield. Eyes are staying downfield. Looking good. Intangibles. He's got a little bit of mobility, at least from what we saw in that one play. Maybe we'll see more and more plays. Moves well in the pocket. We got an arm. We can throw it deep. We can throw deep balls. We've already seen that. Just basic intangibles, right? Look at him maneuver the pocket there. We're taking off. Of course, not a Mike Vick type dual threat quarterback, but enough to extend it out, at least from what we saw on two times where he took off. Stepping back, getting the ball out. But we do have some firepower in that arm. Where does he go? That's the question. Where is he going to take his services? Very interesting that he's hitting the transfer portal after one year. But that's how the cookie, cookie crumbles sometimes. Plus, there's a lot of competition in Alabama. Wouldn't hold it against anybody. There we go. Big catch there. <clears throat> Getting it downfield. Moving up, too. Stepping back. We're on the run. We're going to move. Does he stay at the Power 5 level, too? Does he... Work up another depth chart. Or is he going to go down a level? Are we going to go G5? What route is he taking? I have not heard anything. This just happened yesterday. Later yesterday. I don't know if it's really been 24 hours. But he's slinging the rock. Has a good arm. Has a little bit of mobility. And throw it on a rope. We just saw it there. Hits it on the outside pretty good. We hit it while moving. The thing is, these top quarterbacks in these classes, they're going to have the intangibles. Look at that arm there. Gets it downfield. He has the intangibles. He checks those boxes. He's checking the boxes on arm strength. Uh, what we've seen out of him maneuvering the pocket. Plus, these are highlights. So, we're not seeing the lowlights here. Lowlights would tell us a different story. But from what we're seeing here, we got a guy with a strong arm. Look at the ball placement there. Right? The wide receiver has to move towards the sideline to get that perfect spot. Let's see what we got on this play. Let's see what we got here. Gives it out quick. That ball comes out quick. 
Ball comes out in a hurry. I'm stepping back. Deep sideline. That's a tough throw to make. That's a money throw. Here we go again. Ooh. In there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this guy can zip it. And he's got a little bit of accuracy there. Not afraid either. We're seeing a little bit more out of these throws. Downfield again. Guy catches it in stride. There's wide receiver. Steps back. Going through progressions. Bam. Feel, I felt like he knew that was happening and he had to look it over. There we go again. Just how quick he moves. Like he's got a situation where that DB gets burnt a lot or something. Or it's part of the play. That's called. But we're gone. We're taking off. Taking off. We got a little bit of mobility. We have the intangibles to get something out of this guy. But how's it going between the ears and practice and camp? Oh, it takes a couple bad days in practice and things change for you real quick. But look at that. Getting it downfield. Out in front of the wide receiver. Away from that DB. I have to look at that again. I want to see how Close and stride that wide receiver was, but we got it by the sideline. There. Can't have it too far inside. Here we go again. Dude's got a good arm on him. He's got some accuracy downfield. Getting the ball out. Getting the ball out. Looking good. And we're a hustler. We're a hustler. What are we going to do on this play? Nice stiff arm. Rolls out. Spins out. Twice. Looking solid there. Steps back. We had a rush coming. Steps up in the pocket. We're rolling. We're rolling. Look at that mobility. Look at that mobility. He's got some build-up speed. I'm not saying he's super fast, but he's got some build-up speed. Once you get it to the top end. Someone probably complained in the comments about when I was talking about a speed earlier. I guarantee it. Again, I'm seeing these for what it is because I did not watch this before I did this video. I watched these candid. There we go. He's got some, a little bit of juice to his legs. I'll say that much. There's some juice there. Nothing I haven't said already, though. I mean, it can extend the play out. You're thinking the college level. Look at that rope. Look at that rope. That thing hums. That was a pretty ball. That was a real pretty ball. You see that one come out. Loses it. Steps back. We're rolling in the pocket. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to step up though. We're going to step up though. Boom. Gets tackled. We're going to roll out. Getting the first down. We got some mobility. I'm going to take off with it a little bit. You got to tackle him right, too. He ain't going to go down easy, either. He's a little bit gritty in the pocket. Stand there tall. Gets it to his guy. Eli Holstein getting it done. Stepping back there. There we go. Another rope. Throws it through some tight windows, too. There's a couple times where he threw it in a tighter window than what you usually see in the high school level. Bam. Downfield. Good anticipation. Maybe a shade more in front of him, but it really that deep. Still good accuracy. Bam. Woo. He throws heaters. Stepping up. Rolling out. Bam. On the move. 
And you guys think Alabama brought in another quarterback in this year's class. He wants some opportunity. He's got an arm on him. He's got an arm on him. Whoever gets him, they're getting a gunslinger with some upside. He's got a lot of upside. Because he's got an arm on him. He can extend the play. One of those four-star recruits that we get in every class, though. We got to make something happen this year and next year. Here we go. He's making the reads. Gets the ball out there. He hums it, though. Bam. This guy guns it. He throws ropes. He throws good ropes. I'll say that one. He'll get it through that window. Locks on a little bit, but there we go. We get it. He knows he has it. That's the high school level, though. You're not going to see them really go through progressions as much because you don't need to as much because it's high school. Like that. Oh, that's pretty. Bam. You know you got your guy beat. You know you had the mismatch. And you took it. You took it. Going back. Find your guy. Bam. Dude's got an arm on him. Bam. Hits him. We'll see the next one. We step back. Gets it out quick. Hits this guy in stride. Got all 22 here. Now we're going to take off. We got a lot of green here. Can we get it? Can we get it? Yeah, we get it. I think. No, we didn't. I lied. Close. Close. Stepping back. Slings it. Bam. Catches this guy. He's got an arm on him. Bam. Hits that outside, too. You can throw a sideline to sideline. There we go. We're breaking that up. Still eyes downfield. Hits his man. Woo. Eli Holstein getting it done here. Hits it to the outside. And Eli Holstein, whoever gets him out of the portal is getting a quarterback with a gun on them. A guy that can throw ropes. A guy that can throw moon balls downfield. A guy that is good in the pocket. He'll hold his own, step up in the pocket. He won't get rattled. He'll keep his eyes downfield. Make the throw downfield. Connect with his receiver. He also has a little bit of mobility that can extend the play. This guy has to make it happen. He has to start developing. He has to start really hammering it home with his new team because he has a lot of upside. He has a lot of upside. I want to see him tap it in. I really do because I see it on the tape. I see it with the arm. He can really zip it, and he's also got a moon ball on him. He can place it pretty good. We saw that in a lot of those throws. Eli Holstein is a guy you need to pay attention to on the transfer portal. Let me know what you think about in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.